We move on. Um, we learned a lot from our last game. We played very individualistic and, and got very frustrated uh, and played in a frustration mode, and we can't do that. Uh, but uh, the guys have kind of talked some things out, and I think we've got more voices that are speaking up now, which we needed. And, um, you know, the thing for the coaches and myself is to soar up that middle. The basket area is just, you know, it's just become an area where we're getting exposed with rebounding and inside scoring. So we're looking at some different things, a little more zone, a little more lineup adjustments uh, to help uh, combat, you know, the inside play because we, we gave up, I think we counted 13 layups uh, in that game, which is way too many. Some in transition, a lot in offensive rebounding. And uh, so it's important for us to take care of that. And um, again, it's a, it's, a, it's a work in progress. These guys are, are getting a better feel for each other. We still got to get a little healthier. He sees about 70% right now. Uh, hopefully in the next couple of weeks, he'll, he'll get more to about 90%. And that makes a big difference when he's up. The rebound, rebounding problems, uh, and maybe kind of back to Eckert a little bit too. I mean, is that something that you saw coming that it was something you were going to have to work on? Or is it a bit of a surprise at this point? No, no, it's been a reoccurring thing. I mean, we've had three uh, appearances. One was closed and, and the other two everybody saw. And it's been the same story, the same mm -hmm. song. So you know, as I said before, it's, uh, you know, a lot of it's uh, the effort of, of boxing guys out, the effort of getting back on defense. But the other part is we're playing fairly small. Mm -hmm. And uh, we don't have a presence inside. And you know, one of the things I got to do is I got to just throw him out there, the big guy, and see what he can do. And uh, see if over time he can make the progress he needs to make to be able to compete against um, you know, Big East teams. Um, you, know, I, I, you know, I've told this to, to my staff and, and Jordan. It, you go through practice, and we play five on fives, and, and the big fella gets about two points and, and one rebound during the course of a whole practice. And I said, well, that's not productive enough. That doesn't translate into games. But in the last 24 hours since that last game, I started thinking to myself, well, maybe those points and rebounds don't translate, but maybe the other team doesn't get offensive rebounds. Maybe the other team doesn't get layups, and maybe it translates the other way. So I'm kind of looking at things a little bit different now uh, because that middle is, is, is so vulnerable, and we've got to fix it. Is he health, healthy now? I know that you said he was he was fighting some issues early on. Yeah, he's he's fine. He's good to go. I mean, he he won't be a thirty minute guy. He's mm -hmm. probably more like a 15, 20 minute guy, three to five minutes at a time. Uh, but he's healthy enough to give us some some help. Stan, the newcomers obviously you're trying to get them comfortable in your system. But in terms of guys like the day and Hawkins uh, and Corey White, and do you see them playing more in, in the second yeah. game as they get more? Yeah, that, this, that last game was a tough game to to really. You know, kids don't understand when they're first year that one or two mistakes change, can change a whole game. And, you know, hopefully, and you can't take anybody for granted, but you hope that there's some games on the schedule where they can play through some mistakes and they can learn while they're out there. And, and that, that would be my goal. Uh, so hopefully we're in that kind of situation where they can learn that way. But in those kind of games, it's, it's hard to, you know, because the lead and the game can just change in such a short amount of time. Do you expect that kind of production from Jawanza throughout the year? Or is that kind of an anomaly where he's going to get mid-20 points? Oh, no. Juwan's is, Juwan's is more than capable of scoring his brains out. We know that. It's, it's, it's kind of give and take. We just need Juwanza to kind of do some things at the other side uh, to, to be effective both ways. But he's, he can score, and, and uh, that's, you know, he's always done that. I mean, Juwan's has always been a guy that we brought into a game, and he's been a game changer um, you know, throughout his career. Do you need that from him to be successful? Well, I am, I am kind of toying with the idea of starting him or not starting him, but it really comes down to you know, his defensive effort. If he, if he can defend a little bit better, he can start. If he's kind of vulnerable in that area, then he's probably more of a lightning rod that, that we'll keep in that role. It just depends on him. How much do you think the team was affected by it was the opener for the new dome? Uh, obviously, they played it before, but the fact that it was, you know, a big crowd was there and they were trying maybe to do a lot, but was there an effect, do you think? Well, I, I think there was a lot of things going on. And there's, there's no excuse. It is what it is. It was a you know, great atmosphere. Uh, we were so excited. The fans came out and supported us. And uh, to play in a, gra a great arena like that, um, and we're playing against a, you know, an opponent that, that uh, you know, going to get your juices flowing. And so uh, I think there was a lot there. And I think you know, had we got off to a better start, had we played a little bit better, we would have continued down that stretch. I think once we got down and we didn't figure a way to get ourselves out, and then we had layups and easy opportunities we kind of blew, uh, I think, as I said before, we played in a little bit of a frustration mode, which wasn't good. And, and we were trying to kind of do it by ourselves. And uh, when it didn't work, we kind of got mad at each other. And you just can't play that way. So we learned some lessons, and, and that was a big part of it. And 
you know, there was nothing that happened that first game that I wouldn't change. I, I think everything that we did was the right thing. We just didn't handle it very well. How are the guys looking forward to staying with, you know, it is one game now season, obviously. Are, yeah. are they? Oh, they're ready to play. I mean, we got, I'm sure they don't really necessarily like hearing my voice for the next four <laughs> or five days until they got to wait till Friday, but that's what we're going to do. Uh, we still got some things to, to straighten out. And this may be a team that, that in the meantime needs to learn how to play a little bit more zone so we can compact the, the paint a little bit. So there's some teaching things, some improvement areas that we still need to work on that this time is valuable for us. How important is this weekend to kind of figure out where the pieces fit throughout the course of the season? You know, I, I would love to get to a point where we have a nine, ten minute rotation. I don't know if that's going to necessarily happen, especially in the next few weeks, because we, we just have so many different parts that can do different things at different times. And, and then eventually we have another kid that's pretty good, Musa Abdul-Aleen, who is going to be get healthy and be able to play in probably another two and a half weeks. So then he becomes another guy that i got to kind of look into the rotation, see how he fits in. But, you know, I know we, we know who our point guard is, uh, Fitzpatrick, and, you know, guys like probably Rudd and, and, and Chawaza, those kind of guys that are fit you, they're going to be in there. So I kind of know those guys. It's kind of the new guys that we're trying to blend in and see how they do. Is that a lot to do with chemistry with the new guys trying to feed in with oh, the guys who've been here? Absolutely. You know, it's... You know, I think we ran like two passes on a possession, and Corey just jacks up a three. And he's got, you know, the guys got to learn their role. It's not necessarily, but they just got to learn, you know, how the how everything fits together. You know, what their role is, and you know, when it's a good shot, when it's not a bad, when it's a bad shot. And so there's just a lot of learning things that are taking place. And fortunately for us, that you know, we play more than just you know 12 games. We play 30, and so you know, we want to win while we're learning these things. We certainly want to lose, but.